please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and continue watching all of these hopefully entertaining videos. Can you use compost on your St. Augustine grass? Welcome back, everybody. My name is Seth. This is the Secret Garden YouTube channel, and that is my baby who decided that he wanted to be in the video. <laughs> Doing this is better than what he was doing a minute ago, trying to eat compost. It is not good for your babies. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be talking about compost, using it on your grass, specifically your St. Augustine grass. Now, I use compost a lot on my grass and my garden. I always have a ton of bags in my garage. I usually buy about 10 at a time. And because it is so useful in the garden, it is so useful with your grass, with the lawn, compost honestly is very, very useful. Now, one thing I do want to mention really fast, just because I use compost in my, in my garden or in my grass, does not mean you have to use it for your saying, I don't see grass. You could never use it and be perfectly fine. It is just a useful tool and cheap that I like to use to help me diagnose issues and also fertilize and make my lawn happy does not mean you by any means have to use it. So the compost that I use is this right here. It is Timberline brand. This is from Lowe's. I believe it's like $1.94 for a 40 pound bag. Thank you. So it is very cost efficient, which is why I buy so much at a time. It's really cheap and it's good to have around. Now, reasons why I like it, reasons why I use it. So I'm gonna show you in a minute. But what I actually, one of my main things I like doing with it is to level out my yard. So even though this was all sod that I put down, and I thought I did a really good job leveling it, you know, sometimes after everything settles, you walk on it, you realize some of the air is a little bit lower. If your yard had a gradual slope to it, you don't always get it perfectly. So I've got areas over here that I'm slowly trying to level. I'm trying to get you down as low as I can so you might be able to tell that there's a big, well, not really a big, but there's a spot there that isn't super level, and I want to level it out. So instead of just adding topsoil, I'm adding compost because it will actually add nice nutrients to help with the nitrogen and everything in it to help the grass grow really nice and strong and happy at the same time as leveling it. Now, what I do is you notice here, every few days I'll come out and I'll add some nice uh, compost to it. Not enough to bury it. You want to make sure that you still have your grass popping up, uh, poking up here so it won't bury it and suffocate and die. It's okay if you cover the runners, you just wanna make sure you still have some grass blades up. And then when that starts to go down and the grass comes up a little bit, then I'll add some more over and over until I get it nice and leveled out. Now, another reason why I love using compost is because it can help you diagnose and fix issues with your grass. So, if you looked at my How I Saved My Sod video, and actually even other ones, this patch right here was really yellowing. It was lime green and yellow. And now if you look at it, you can barely tell a difference at all. So a really nice thing about compost, because it's so cheap and I always tap it around, I can use it to help me easily identify and try to fix issues. So for example, if I've got grass yellowing, it could be an iron or a nitrogen deficiency. Well, the compost would tell me that because the compost would have those nutrients that it needs. And so if I put the compost on that spot and it starts to heal up and it starts to get uh, looking better like it is right now, then I know all it was was a deficiency in iron or probably nitrogen actually. Um, and it's a nice, really quick and easy thing that I can do. Now, if it didn't fix it, then I could have other issues. I could have a fungus and I might need to check the link below for the fungus side to try to fix my fungus. Now, you also can have that from uh, compacted soil, check out my aeration video, and then sometimes it just dries out way too fast, which also can be because of compacted soil. But this little spot here has gotten so much nicer after adding a little bit of compost every few days. Now, another thing that I like here a lot, and I'll show you here, let me bring you back out. If you look right here, I actually had some bare spots in the middle in between where the sod was and where I had some uh, sod dye. And so what I'm doing here is I'm filling all those spots with compost as well. Now, this also is a really good thing here because what'll happen is once all my little runners start coming out here and start saying hello to all this nice dirt, it'll be like, whoa, look at that really nice fertilizer instead of just dirt. And it'll take a really nice, um, you'll get a really nice start and do way, way better. He just took my shoes and put them in the clubhouse. Oh, maybe he wanted to bring them back. 
Now, one thing you might be thinking is the fact that St. Augustine grass, as I've said a lot of times, can be very finicky, and it doesn't like really strong fertilizers. You can easily burn your St. Augustine grass if you give it the wrong fertilizer. So, of course, you could get, click the link below for the milorganite fertilizer, and you could use that. But one quick note that because the compost is all natural, it is not going to burn it at all, even though I use it to level out my yard, and I put big, nice heaps of it over there, it does not burn it. It has never, and it will not. So you can definitely use as much of the compost as you want, and you won't have any issues. Now, one thing that can definitely help your lawn out a lot, besides everything we've already talked about, one really good quick tip is for you to smash the like button. Ugh. And don't eat sticks. Really, if they came from the dirt. Or compost? Not good for humans. Good for plants. Good for the grass. <laughs> okay. I think I should end it now. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. I very much appreciate it. Like I said, please smash the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. And continue watching all of these hopefully entertaining videos. Have a great day.